bright headlights emerge from the darkness of this forest in eastern Bavaria. The three-city rally is taking place here. It's the finale of the German Rally Championship. Normally, private teams take part in the competition, but recently more and more car manufacturers have been getting in on the action. Skoda is one of them, and its driver, Fabian Kreim, who's been competing at this level for just two years, knows the championship title is within his grasp. But he'll really have to motor to fend off a challenge from Peugeot's Christian Riedmann. Fabian says that's easier during the day because you can see more, but rally drivers must be able to drive at night too. It's challenging as taking notes is vital. The Skoda mechanics look pretty relaxed as they perform a routine check up on his car, though they have just 45 minutes to do it. While the Skoda team is experiencing no real technical problems, it's a different story at Peugeot. Here, they feverishly work on the transmission right up to the deadline. Skoda's team leader knows what it's like when things go wrong and you're in charge. He says, as a driver, you're the one at the wheel, so if you mess up, you'll pay the price. But as team leader, you're often punished for things you've no control over, when a mechanic makes a mistake or technical problems. But he says he likes the job, especially working with young people. Es gefällt mir sehr gut und ich habe sehr viel Freude dabei, dass man halt mit Jung und Alt arbeiten kann, so wie es jetzt auch speziell in Deutschland ist. The next day they take part in a special stage in which drivers must complete a prescribed circuit twice. The first time around, both Fabian Keim and Christian Riedmann clock fast times. But Peugeot fans wait in vain for Riedmann to come around again. A damaged transmission has put him out of action and ensured that this year's German Rally Championship title will go to Skoda. Fabian Crime is relieved. He says he can now stop worrying about every little sound the car makes. They've done it no matter what technical defect might crop up. They're finally German champions. But though victory is assured, the Skoda team isn't resting on their laurels. During the next stages, Keim and his co-driver Frank Christian give it their all to win the final race too. Frank Christian explains that ahead of the event, they tour the course. Fabian describes what he sees and how he plans to drive each stretch. That's the info he needs to drive the car quickly. So, as his co-pilot, Frank takes notes and gives them back during the scoring round. Having a co-driver who takes good notes is vital to a team's success. After all, the driver can't keep track of every detail on a course that's 120 kilometers long. Rallying is all about teamwork, more so than in other motorsports. Here, the driver and co-driver must trust one another completely. A co-driver warns the driver about upcoming curves and their level of difficulty, as well as warning him of changes to the terrain. Rally sport is Rally's a team sport, says Skoda's Andreas Loya. Fabian couldn't have won this alone. You need a good car, driver and co-driver, and Frank Christian's excellent. The rest of the team is key too, and theirs is wonderful. The newly crowned German rally champion also won the season's final race, all at the tender age of 24.